right, here we go. All right, what I'm going to show you is how to make an absolutely luscious shrimp bisque. And we're going to start with the shrimp stock. Um, I've got about four cups of shrimp stock here. Now, when I was thinking about this recipe, there are a thousand things you can do to make a great shrimp bisque. And I've had them that were absolutely luscious, made with tomato stock or with a little bit of potato, leek, garlic, and those things are fabulous. I'm not going to use them for a couple of reasons. First, we have a great flavor base. We made a homemade shrimp stock, and there was onion and carrot and celery and thyme in here. And when I tasted this, I realized that it is absolutely dynamite. And I really don't want anything to interfere with this great shrimp essence that we've developed by making this homemade stock. And actually, this took 45 minutes on the stove top. That was about it. So make this shrimp stock, and you're most of the way there. So we really only have a couple of other things that we want to do to turn this simple little stock into an absolutely dynamite soup. Now, I do have a pound and a half of peeled and deveined shrimp. Can you see? It's just shrimp. All right. <laughs> I uh, peeled this off and deveined it last night, and it's been on ice, and I used the shells and tails to make the stock over here. So we're giving it a double whammy for a flavor. Uh, so what I want to do is, first of all, get my cream, and yeah, it's heavy cream. But right now I'm living in the mountains, and so shellfish, fresh, wonderful, lovely shellfish, just is not that common. When we do get it, I want to make sure that what we have is absolutely the best we can have. In this case, with the shrimp, now this is just four ounces of cream cheese. And I use the two cups of cream, and I'll, I'll tell you why. Just a second. In this case, I want this soup to absolutely celebrate the shrimp. I don't want any other flavors to interfere. At the same time, I want to intensify and highlight the flavors of the shrimp. Now, a traditional bisque is seafood simmered in a shrimp stock, or a, a, you can do it with crab, you can do it with lobster, you can do it with any kind of white fish, all kinds of stuff. And it is simply the protein, in this case shrimp, simmered in a mixture of cream or milk and butter and the stock that you've made from the seafood itself. Now, I don't want to go too much with the cream. I feel like that also kind of goes overboard with the interference with the flavor of the shrimp. However, it does need a little bit of the richness, so I'm going to thicken it with the cream cheese in this case. All right, now I've already tasted my stock a minute ago, and I know that despite the fact that I salted pretty well when I was making the stock, it does need a good bit of salt. And I will say, when you're seasoning your food, Taste it constantly at the different stages, and make sure you season it well at the different stages. Otherwise, the flavors will be very one-dimensional. Now here, we've got a little bit of cayenne pepper. It's just cayenne. You can go crazy if you want to. But again, we want to highlight and not interfere with the flavor of our shrimp. So I would say I've got about half a teaspoon, and we've had four cups of the stock, We've had two cups of cream, four ounces of the cream cheese, so we really don't have a whole lot there to go with that much cayenne pepper. All right, so we are almost at the point I can feel my cream cheese has really melted in, almost melted. I've got a little, we'll get rid of that in a minute. All right, so all I'm waiting on now, I want to bring this right here to a bear simmer because at that point we're going to put our shrimp in and we're going to let the shrimp poach in the liquid. And that's almost all there is to this soup. So I'm going to let my soup come up to a simmer and I'll be back in just a minute and show you how to finish it off. All right. Now, a couple things while we were waiting. I did get this lovely richness and thickness that developed in my broth and the cream cheese melted in and the shrimp stock has become one with the cream and the cream cheese and it's beautiful but we haven't overwhelmed that shrimp stock so we still have uh, that essence of shrimp however I want it a little bit thicker than it is now so what I did 
was I made a beurre manier. And this is something that sounds extremely complicated because the French came up with it, but it's not complicated at all. Beurre manier simply means kneaded butter. And that's all you do. You take an equal amount of butter and flour and you squish them together with a fork until you have a lovely little paste. All right? Are you good with this? You see what I've done? See? All you want to do is make sure that you've gotten all the flour incorporated. Now the cool thing about this is, all that fat that's in the butter puts a lovely little cloak around all the individual grains of the flour. And what that means is that you can add it to a hot stock. And you won't have lumps. So we're just going to work him in. And in this case I used four tablespoons of butter and four tablespoons of flour because I want a little bit of thickness but I don't want a ton. And a tablespoon of flour and a tablespoon of butter will thicken a cup of liquid. So I've got a little more liquid than that. So that's a general rule. Now we're almost at the simmer. It's barely got a little tiny bit of movement up there on the top of the surface. I'm not even sure if you can see it if you zoomed in. But we're not going to worry about it. Trust me, we're at the simmer. So at this point, I have my cold shrimp I've been holding off. I am going to turn it up just a bit because the cold shrimp will reduce the temperature of my broth and I want to maintain a nice, slow, lovely heat. So at this point, it's hot. And these shrimp are going to poach. Poach just means you cook it in liquid at a low temperature. They're going to poach in this beautiful, creamy, shrimpy sauce. Am I wearing it? And we're only going to give them about three or four minutes. Now, so you see my liquid is at a very low temperature because poaching implies a low temperature. We're going to keep stirring this in. The butter and the flour will thicken that at the same time that the shrimp are poaching. Okay, now, come in here and take a look, because this is what we were waiting on. By the time your pot comes to a bare simmer, your shrimp are going to be almost perfectly done, but not overcooked. And look at that. See those beautiful little tender shrimp? And they're cloaked in that beautiful creamy silky sauce. That's what I think a beautiful little bisque should be. Now, the reason you want just a little bit of a simmer is that the flour that we added to thicken it up a little bit needs about a minute at the simmer to fully come to its thickening power. So at this point, we're going to add our final, well, almost the last. There's one other. This is half a cup of sherry. So I tasted this a minute ago. Actually, I've tasted it over and over again while it's off camera. And I do know that it does need a final healthy smack of salt. And our last little bit is going to be a good bit of fresh black pepper. And don't stick the pepper. I mean, creamy things, they love sherry. A little tiny touch of nutmeg would be okay here if you wanted to. But they also love black pepper. Alright, what I like to do is come in here for a nice fat bunch of shrimp. If we're doing a soup as a celebration of shrimp, let's celebrate shrimp. And I think that that beautiful pink with the creamy white in the background is just unbelievable. And this doesn't need a whole lot. Give yourself a touch of the broth. You're almost creating a little mountain of shrimp and a moat of that creamy, beautiful broth. And then over here, I have a handful of fresh minced chives right over the top. Let's move that. And there we go. That is a celebration of shrimp in a bisque. Nice, huh?